So, hi Max. Hi. Um, just want to hear something from you, and I've got an associate with me who would be asking a question or two. That sounds like a good plan. Okay. So if I look over that way, the associate's on that side. Okay. <laughs> yeah, All okay. Right. Brilliant. There she is. Okay, that would be good. So then if we can bounce off each other that way, yeah. um, just a little bit, then it'll help me out, all right? That'd be brilliant. Perfect. So I'm easy to do um, Go on. whatever you want to talk about. Max, it is a real pleasure to meet you. Oh, thank you. Uh, watched yeah. your videos and your courage just shines through in everything that I've seen that you've done and I really truly thank you for that and for speaking out. Thank you, thank you for saying that. Um, it was actually never my intention to do that. Uh, I think that because of circumstances in 2008 I was so needed to find out what, what was happening to me that um, I sort of that was the that was the the route that I had to go to try and to try and find out stuff. So essentially, I started it and began doing it for sort of selfish reasons, really. And then it opened up, and then I you know I wanted to help other people who'd been through anything that was even remotely similar to what I'd been through. So that's yeah. that's that's how that began. So so, what advice would you give to anybody right now who is just starting? that road of looking within and looking for answers? Yeah. Um, definitely, um, there's so much confusion outside. There's so much confusion going out on outside and so many different people telling so many different things that, um, especially at the moment, what I've been trying to do and people that, who I speak to and friends of mine and people who I work with, I have been, the one thing that this particular consciousness stream that is controlling or has its hands on controlling the planet at the moment is vampiric in nature, which is vampiric. It's, it, it's a taking energy. It's not a giving energy. It doesn't have a central source where it, it can't self, it cannot self sustain, has to take from others. Um, so, with all the confusion that's going on on the outside, um, I started to find the best information when I was away from any other distractions, from away from any, even other people, just being alone and actually allowing myself to be alone and just be with myself, without music, mm -hmm. without television, without anything. And then sort of things, when I had, the longer I spent by myself just doing that, even without books or anything, because books are even a distraction, mm -hmm. so things would start coming to me and memories would start coming to me and um, that, that sort of like quiet voice that's inside of you would start opening up and there would be a clearer, clearer connection between me and it even though it is one and the same thing and so, so um, uh, to, to uh, like I said there's so many different things and so many different people saying different things I think that to start learning to trust yourself, um, and uh, and then you sort of take take what feels right to you, and personally to you, and um, leave the rest alone and put the rest down. Um, and that's how I, that's what I did to start with. It didn't matter if somebody else said to me like, "This is it. This is for sure. This is the you know. This is how that happened. And this particular story. And this Anunnaki did this. And that. Well, that that that." didn't matter, like, if it felt right to me, then I would take hold of that and then sit alone with that feeling, and, you know, or that sit alone with that information and see how it sat with me. My ears, sorry, I said it here, my ears. My I understand ears. that, what you're saying there as well, but there's so much bombardment of external Especially noise. now, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, 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 I mean, with so many frequencies going on in this single area as well, you know, and, and that can even be a distraction, um, but yeah, there's, there's, you know, there's a lot of uh, people who, um, there's, I don't like this, the ego part of uh, this field either, where people like, you know, I don't like the word followers, and that seems to come up a lot, I've got like, I've got 5,000 followers, and uh, you know, okay, what does that really mean? I don't, I don't think anyone should really be following anybody, you should perhaps like look to self, and then trust self, and then you don't need to follow anybody. Sure, sure. You sort of follow yourself. 
and you guide yourself. Because when you follow, so when you start following somebody, you're handing over your power, you're giving away your power. And the whole point and the whole mess that we're in in the first place is that we've handed over our power to everybody, everybody else, and that's, that's the issue. You know, the vampiric consciousness that is here has created um, religions or sport or um, uh, uh, philosophies or, or any of those. It does. They don't care particularly which one you follow or which one you attach to. It's none of their business which one you do. But as long as you attach to one of them, mm -hmm. because each one is connected to like they're like it's like a multi-headed or a, maybe an octopus. So if there's a central point like that, so each of the strands come out, but they all lead to the same center point, which is a black hole essentially. Mm -hmm. It's a black hole. Uh, that is pulling energy from people in any way, and they particularly like, you know, uh, any of the religions because that's, you know, that's that's precious energy that's given away like that. Even uh, um, a, a lot of the um, big music uh, uh, gatherings that go on are set up ritualistically. So uh, they don't care whether you're cheering or whether you're booing. It doesn't really matter as long as you're doing it strongly. Uh, so so you, like, even Glastonbury is now set up in a specific way where the stage, it's all ritualistically done to pull energy from the people. And then they gather that energy, mm -hmm. harvest it, and use it then to manifest the false reality that we're living in. Because they can't create reality. They don't know. They don't. They don't have the create. They don't have the creative spark themselves. Mm. But they do know how to manipulate the ones that do have it, mm. and that's essentially what the deal is. They're manipulating this because it's the subconscious that creates the physical mm. reality, and they've hijacked the subconscious of, of the of the real creators, mm. and then <clears throat> now we're stuck in this false reality mess. Mm. Um, uh, there's a lot of complexities that go on exactly how that works. In my opinion, um, but yeah, that's that's what's going on with that. Yes, I mean, yeah. I I did that myself for a year. I cut out all the external sources, including mm. books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just went within. Yeah. Uh, to unravel myself and what was it that I believed, rather than and what did I know within myself, mm. rather than what I had been taught. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And told right. was reality. Uh, and okay, so this is that's that's a very good point. Because so so the, the creation of this reality begins at the young age. So all the textbooks um, and all the history books are are then written and and uh, so that when so that we all collectively believe this particular thing. So then we all when we all believe it, we all ma ma manifest a reality that's based on these books. Yes. Uh, that's very sneaky in a very mm -hmm. clever way to yeah. do it because. How do I know? How do we know the textbooks are um, uh, legit? They're not. The, 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 the wars are written by the winners, mm. aren't they? And so the winners write whatever they want to write in there, mm. and then, then we just believe it, we take it on board. So, we, so we, start, we start learning that numbers and letters are, they only give us a very simple version of what numbers and letters are, and there's so much more to what numbers and letters are. Uh, even phonetically, um, uh, how 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 a word sounds, how you say it when you speak, how it sounds to a person is going to affect them. It's not just a word. You know, I think I wrote the other day. You know, and I think you know people know this, but um, you know, you spell a word because it's words spell. are spells. Yes. You say a sentence to somebody. You're you're literally saying a spell. And words are, you know, that, that old adage, sticks and stones, and I break my bones, but words and you know, names, names will never hurt me, is, is, is not true. Yes. Yeah, because words are very, very powerful. Yeah. I go further and say thought matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally very. matters. Yeah, yeah. Well, thought creates matter. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And all our words yeah. are endorsing that. Yeah, reinforcing it yeah. all the time. Reinforcing yeah. it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You said something um, a moment ago um, to do with uh, the vampirism mm. that goes on on this planet. It, it is a vampiric yes. consciousness. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, no doubt and, about that. And um, from my own spiritual journey, I would say that that is a, uh, 
where we've forgotten who we truly are mm. along the way because we're self-sustaining mm. when we're connected to our true self directly to source yeah. and what religions do and many of the other belief systems do is it it cuts us off from that and we're placing our power to something else yeah. rather than our own unique self yes and when you mentioned followers yes Take again it's not about followers because yeah. Every one of those people are individuals yeah. with their own uniqueness to yeah. find. Yes. And and what you're doing is sharing your uniqueness. Yeah. Yes. But you don't want people to copycat. No, and, I don't. And Definitely don't. And I don't want. I want also people to discard what they don't agree with what mm -hmm. I'm saying. If it doesn't fit for them, mm -hmm. fantastic. Then don't. Then let that bit mm -hmm. go. That's that's okay as well. And I'm definitely not a hundred. Nowhere near a hundred percent correct. I just. Mm -hmm. I'm on. The, I know that I'm on the right. I'm pointing in the right direction. Yes. That I definitely know. Yes. Um. Uh, yeah, so um, it is. It's this. It is parasitic. The consciousness that's here. Sometimes I see it as an imagery of like maggots, like a maggoty sort of energy, energy that's sort of like it just eats through. Eats. It, it's. It's. It's mind is about. It's mind. Its thought pattern is conquer and destroy, mm. and that's what it does, and that's what it's done to other planets too. Mm. And that's what it's trying on this, so this particular planet. Uh, they want us all as well to think that this is an insignificant place in the middle of a universe, in the middle of a super universe, a tiny little dot that's, you know, that's insignificant, when it isn't. This particular planet, Earth, is an anagram for heart. Mm -hmm. So this planet here is the one that they want to take control of. So they, mm -hmm. they want to take control of the heart, mm -hmm. the human heart. It's connected to the earth, mm. and those, that's the one. That's the fine. That's mm. the one that they can't. It's very easy to, to, to control the base chakra, you know, because that's that's mainly what's driven through television and media all mm. the time. It's it, that's all. It's base is always or like you know primal energy, uh, uh, bestial energy is sort of mm. always invoked in that, and they can sort of feed from that. But it's the heart energy that they really want. And they really want to take over. And there are not many movies that are heart based. No, there's not. No, there's not. Real ones. Real ones. And if there if there is, they usually there's a sad you they'll they'll hit you with a sad point mm. in it. So you'll you'll feel it mm. and you'll feel pain there. Another thing with cin cinemas or movie theatres mm. are all uh, uh, sacred sacred geometrically set up to um, harvest energy from the people. So when you have a horror movie or uh, some of the extreme nasty movies that come out that have been coming out mm -hmm. over the last like 15 20 years mm -hmm. um the people in there when the people when you when people shock like that the the, the movie theaters are set up perfectly sacred geometrically to, to then harvest the energy straight from mm -hmm. the people in there in the same principle mm -hmm. as any uh mass gathering Definitely. Yeah. And that's one thing that um, most of the populace do not understand is about energy. No. No. And how we're it not taught about it. We're no. not taught anything to do with that. But we're actually, I mean, we're either taught um, the atheistic scientific uh, uh, point of view or the Christian point. I mean, I know there are other religions as well, but I'm just saying in general, mm -hmm. whether it's like there's the go God. Or there's the the atheist. We're only we're given those two, and that's it. We're not taught taught taught, taught or told anything about how uh, electromagnetic energy works. And really, you know, uh, these these this vampiric consciousness is using black magic to do what they do. And black, really, really, magic is just the manipulation of electromagnetic energy with will and intent. Nothing else more than that. It's not anything else. It's through ritual. Um, when you do a ritual, you then tag and you connect into the morphogenetic field of every other time anybody else has done that ritual before. Mm. So, the other, so, so then that ritual is extremely powerful and extremely important to them. Um, they're obsessive with that. So, the, so, so you know, they based they they're, they're based solely on like the reptilian brain. We all have the reptilian brain. They primarily work through that, and that is uh, um, uh, a 
obsession and compulsion mm. and um, um, seek and destroy and conquer and um, like all the primal work but it's also it's pure competitive intellect as well. it's totally and utterly and it's mm. competitive with with the with the way that if you lose then you you know you die basically mm. like the weak they have no time for the weak the weak will be taken out they don't like so, so, uh, that 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 consciousness doesn't if they have a child that is uh, um, disabled or weak they they push it to the side and get rid of it or they'll kill it they don't they're not interested mm. they're only interested in, in the strong mm. uh, will strong will strong survive um, it's which is like the opposite to what humanity is humanity the, the human heart has compassion and cares about um, what what the weaker or, or the disabled or, or that and, and 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 wants to make sure that they're protected and safe. So what they've managed to do, very calculatedly, calculatedly the word, um, is put two completely opposing consciousnesses consciousnesses into one body. So, so the human, the, the human, the, the, the mammalian, which is which cares for its young and feeds its young, and then the reptilian, which discards and does it and pushes it away and put it into one body, and that so human beings in and of themselves are um, at odds with each other, at, at odds with themselves mm. as soon as they're born. It's an inner battle. Yes, all the time with all of us. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't fit those two those two consciousness streams. Don't fit together. Um, so listening to oneself, yeah, turning off the noise, you know, even if it's for half an hour each yes. day, and, oh, and, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. allowing to understand and and hear that inner voice, that yeah. inner knowingness, yeah, yeah. Is, is vital, definitely, because that brings back to a, a neutral and a balance within ourselves and a connection to our true self as well. Yeah, who you truly are, exactly, yeah. and. Um, <clears throat> Uh, going back to the heart again, and I've been writing about that more, more recently, because um, like the final, that is the final push. Like the the great work of ages is what is which has been going on for um, probably more than twenty thousand years, really. I mean, our, the history that we're told is completely incorrect in every way. I mean, even down to like with the cavemen. And uh, that it's just this is not correct history, but um, so the great work was to uh, it's to conquer the human heart, the human being can't be done overnight. Mm. It take it takes a long time of calculated planning to do it over, and they these these people um, they they start a project that they know that won't be finished in their lifetime. Because they know that they know the bigger picture, mm -hmm. and they know that they're working towards a, a grander plan, and the grand plan is to have a complete control of the human heart, and then the capstone can be placed on yes. top. And the thing is with humans as well. One of the beautiful endearing qualities I love about humans, yeah. which um, since the, since the modern era has come along with technology. Yeah. And video games, mm. compassion and empathy yeah. is something that humanity has been losing really fast. Yeah. And yes. I found and that really disturbing yeah. because that is an endearing part of being human. Absolutely, yeah, no, definitely with video games, and there's no doubt about that. That that um, well, they use especially like the Grand Theft Auto games. I don't know, people definitely will know what they are. Um, it allows you to go and be brutal, as brutal as you like, on a, on, a, on a very sort of realistic scene. You can go and, 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 and attack just anybody on the street, and you can drive and you can run people over, and so it sort of starts to slowly erode the natural empathy mm -hmm. that human beings have. That's just one of the angles that they're having to get rid of it. They don't want, yes. they want to make us like them. Yes, and it's desensitizing our natural state of yeah. being. Yeah, yes. And so, I mean, I've seen it myself where you've got somebody in the street being beaten up by somebody else and yeah. everybody walks past. No one wants to get involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you'll get one brave soul that will, will yeah. step in. Yes. When 
perhaps in the 70s and early 80s Completely before different. all the technology mm -hmm. came in, mm -hmm. there would have been a lot of people that would have come to Definitely. the aid. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Um, and and th there's been like a heavy push in the last like decade, uh, decade and a half um, to really, because their time is running out. They don't have very much time left, excuse me, to um, put this plan into place. Mm. Um, and it's, 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 it also ties into transhumanism and, um, you know, because if they can get tech into the human being, as much tech as they can into the human being, then they can start um, taking, you know, the, separating the heart faster. Mm. Um, that's why, you know, um, there's a big push for atheism now. Mm. I, it's not none of my business what anybody believes, but there is, there is, a, there is a, there's a calculated agenda behind it. But it's still cutting us off. At yeah, two, isolation. That we're only here, and mm. this is all we are. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And it, it's, it, I mean, it's reinforcing that lie, that um, birth and death, and that's it, lie. Yeah, mm. yeah. A lot of these guys don't want to die either, because then they sort of would have to face, um, face up a lot of stuff mm. that they've done. So there's, but they have technology. They have, I mean, the technology that they have, they have age regression technology. So they can do that stuff. Mm. A lot of the um, a lot of the uh, Third Reich is still continued on and still mm. continued going. Uh, so a lot of the programs that uh, that the children were involved in um, and that I was connected to in the seventies and eighties, they don't do that anymore. They don't do those particular ones anymore. They can they can program somebody through um, technology mm. so they can give them the the memories to make them think that they went through those things yes. and were traumatized but they you know so, so that's good enough yes. if they think they were traumatized and they went through it and that's good enough to make them split split the mind and you know disassociate mm. the mind because it's all about disassociation yes. um, they uh, disassociation is a big key mm. to all of this you know um, because you know when you disassociate somebody they then don't know what they did mm. and then they can you know that's where trigger words come in and um and uh, uh manchurian candidate based type mm. stuff comes in um and it's it's they learned i i did believe that the zeta to the like the the, the mm. almond almond eye grays that we call gave particular group of human beings the information in the uh, more uh, more precise information because I know they've been doing disassociation because if you look at the Egyptian book of the dead it explains in that particular book how that they were they were using potions uh, or drugs uh, and trauma to disassociate back back then mm. um, but they refined it they refined it big time mm. in during the Second World War, mm. but I think that that information was given from the Zeta to them, to how to honeycomb split the mind. Yes. So, um, uh, what what the what the children went through in these particular projects? The children were picked for, for, from specific bloodlines, which is connected to Project Oak Tree. Where so they were they, they, they found certain mothers from certain bloodlines. Um, connected to uh, different streams because they're looking for specific DNA from specific bloodlines to traumatize. They so they found the mothers, and then the mothers for who were in, who were born in the fifties, uh, their children were born in the seventies and eighties. Those were the ones who were like the 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 origin the, the they were the original ones that were that were that were shattered that way. Mm -hmm. um, and then you know I, I think I've explained. A little bit about it before, where um, of how and why um, you know, trauma, what and what trauma-based mind control is, and why it's used in um, shattering the mind through through extreme trauma. What sort of techniques okay. have you been doing yourself? You know, just just something that yeah. maybe help others that are listening. Techniques to this. Um, in terms of what? In terms of self healing. Uh, self healing and and um, yeah. um, and overcoming this disassociation mm, yeah it's quite um, difficult um, you've got to have somebody you've got to, you have to have work with somebody that you really trust and you've got to find somebody that that um, will understand you 
and understand and you've got to find somebody that really loves you because you know the, the, what comes along with people who've been through these projects is extreme personalities yeah. and um, uh, you know addiction is directly tied mm -hmm. to um, uh, uh, all of this stuff so you have all of these rehabs that are all especially in the US they're, they're a, mo a lot of them are you know re Reprogram reprogramming centers because they know that they're going to magnetically draw to them mm. um, people who've been through these pro projects mm. because trauma-based mind control creates addiction. Mm. Um, sexual abuse creates opiate addiction. Mm. Um, and so you know that so they, they know what they're doing. It's like they do it then they create they create the problem and they, the solution is there, but it's their solution mm. then so then they draw them to it. And if somebody starts to wake up or somebody starts to realize, you know, what's going on, they gather them in, pull them in again. And so they're reprogramming tweaking, as well. Do some tweaking again to yeah. make sure that they, you know, so that because if somebody wakes up too much, they're either going to make sure they're not around anymore. Or maybe they'll, you know, they'll either kill them or they'll assassinate their character or they will make them seem as if they're completely insane so nobody pays any attention to what they say. And we've seen some of that with some of the Hollywood stars. What, that... Absolutely, 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 lots of them. Mm -hmm. Lots of them. When the programming breaks down, um, it's pretty intense, you know, because it, it, it will throw you into a, a, a spin like nothing else, mm -hmm. like you've literally, you know, you've lost your mind. Mm -hmm. And that's happened to... Um, uh, Quite a few of Hollywood. I mean, mm -hmm. Britney Spears is a good example, yes. actually. Yes. Like, the, the, interestingly enough, like the name Spears, there's a, connect, there's a, there's a, her birthday as well is uh, twelve two, and um, yeah, so it's, there's the two two connection as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, her breakdown was interesting. I mean, not in, mm -hmm. in, in, a, in, a, in a, if you're looking at it as a study, yes. as a study guide, you know. Um, uh, yeah. Is there anything that you would like to say to the listeners um, about your hopes for humanity? Yeah, okay. I, I believe, and I truly believe this, I, I believe that the war is already finished. And I believe that we already overcame it and already it's done already. The majority of the work has been done um, by the volunteer consciousness that has come down here to help waking everybody up. The majority of the work has been done. So now we're just playing it out, but the storyline is being played out and we're watching and it is a storyline. It is a storyline. Everything that you that you watch on the television that's going on with politics is a storyline. What hopes do you have? What what dreams do you see for humanity to where it's where the potentials it could lead to? Um the potentials it could lead to. I think that um Choices have already been made by um, everybody that's here, whether or not they're going to uh, continue doing the same, stay in the same uh, dualistic time loop, master-slave reality. If they haven't learned the lessons from that, then 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 their higher self will, will maybe choose to stay in that. Mm -hmm. So they would go to another to a frequency where that would continue. So they would mm -hmm. learn relearn the lessons of that. Um, the other, the, the other the upside of it, so the, there's, there's ones who have chosen to stay here that will stay on this planet, stay on the, in the heart, which is, the earth is the heart, and create a new paradigm. A, parad a paradigm which, because this paradigm is completely inverted in every possible sense. Everything, they, everything that is here, everything they do is, is inverted. The justice system, the teaching system, the political system is all inverted, perfect, you know, perfectly inverted. They even speak inversion. Basically, uh, the way they speak, you can pretty much be sure what they, if what they say. If you go with the exact opposite, then you're going to get the truth. Um, so, we could build a new paradigm, but you ha but the, but you'd have we'd have to all align our consciousness with. Um, a, uh, a lot in, in, in I mean, I'm trying. I was going to say loving nature, but that's sort of maybe well, too simple. About contribution as well, but we're all contributing. And, and a giving in nature, gifts. Or, or, or yeah, a, a giving, a, a natural giving mm. and taking uh, um, 
uh, nature, which would then create a paradigm of compassion and empathy and kindness, um, and so where everybody sort of takes care of everybody else because they understand that you are actually me, mm -hmm. and that that we that's an, where we have an intrinsic understanding of that. So um, you would never you would never want to harm yourself. So it's it's a lot of healing uh, has to be done to self to know that you know that, that 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 you could be kind to yourself and loving to yourself, and then you can you can create a paradigm where um, it, it's just naturally giving and taking and balanced, and so we sort of like align ourselves that way. Yeah, I, I would say it was um, giving, mm. sharing, mm. allowing, accepting. Acceptance, yes, yeah, definitely. And, and celebrating yeah. everybody and their uniqueness and what they have to offer as well. Everybody's got something to offer. Something magical to offer, yes. yeah, totally. And accepting that, yeah, uh, I agree with you. Um, uh, and uh, um, ce celebrating the little things, yes. the tiny things about um, everybody and you know uh, obviously the, the way that the construct of this particular paradigm that we're in at the moment is the opposite of that mm. where uh, it, it's uh, people p are picking and pointing and blaming er, blame is such a, such a huge part of this paradigm nobody wants to take responsibility for the fact that, thing, that certain things happen to them I mean um, it's not okay that, that those things happened, mm -hmm. but um, it, there has to be an element of responsibility. You, you know, we have to understand that we, you know, we are building, we are building our own reality. We're, we are uh, on a collective level. There is a building. You know, uh, the way I see it was uh, so humanity is which shattered into a single, a single, you know, single consciousness shattered into a, a billion different pieces, but it's all the same. Mm. It's all the same piece, mm. really. So if once there is an understanding of that, a true understanding, not just a knowing, mm. I know that, true understanding of it, then uh, we, because we're the ones who are building the reality, you know, this, this vampiric consciousness that's attached itself to the heart, it's like an, an attachment, literally. Mm. It's like, I always see it as an octopus, actually. Like, like that, and it's, so, so you have the heart, and this octopus is like attached itself to it, and the heart is the earth. So you can mm. see maybe see it like that, and, and, and it's it's draining and sucking mm. from it, you know. And um, if it, it can only do it if we allow it to do it, though, mm. because we're the ones who are building here that it doesn't build. So if we, like we said in the, uh, earlier on, uh, come to understand and accept. A lot of it, again, is like nobody accepts themselves. Nobody mm -hmm. really truly accepts themselves. You know, uh, we are all finding, you know, uh, imperfections and, and uh, uh, you know, when we do truly accept ourselves, that vampiric consciousness mm -hmm. will sort of cease to exist anymore, mm -hmm. because it can only exist if we um, don't like ourselves. Yes. Yes. And I this mean, is part of, uh, it's just the id, or the dark side of mm. self, really, yes. it's only, it's only, it's just a reflection of the way we feel about our, us, ourselves. Yes. So if we change the way that we feel about ourselves, it will change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shadow, we're talking about shadow work yeah, now, yeah. and uh, our, look, identifying our shadow self. Mm -hmm. um, and and not hating it. Yes. Not hating it yes. because hating it only empowers it. Yes. Actually, understanding it and accepting it and knowing it, it's sort of like embracing it in a sense, really. Sort of embrace it, 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 it will then cease to be parasitic. Mm. And I think also uh, for myself, I've done a lot of shadow work. Mm. And I, one of the prime things for myself in understanding myself was observing myself mm. really, very sincerely, no excuses. And, and looking at how I behave yeah. and what needs that I'm demanding outside of myself yes. upon others each day. Yeah, yes, yeah. And that's a hard thing to do, mm. actually, to look at yourself and to look at your, to, to really look at the actions that you do to others. Yes. Um, yeah, it's a big thing. And I think, well, most people are so caught up in the, um, in the, the mess they don't, they sort of don't have time to and a lot don't want to either because if you if you do that then you have to take responsibility mm. um, and, and that's you know people really don't, would rather say look it's your fault 
because then it's like cricket over that way. Um, yeah. I know this is all part of loving ourselves into life. Yeah, when, yeah. When we're, when we're doing shadow work as well. Yeah. Um, because we through for such a long time we have been governed by religions and we're sinners or, or what have yeah. you and feeling bad about ourselves and we have a lack of self-worth. Yeah. Anything that when I have been going through the process of my own shadow work, it's it's not to um, beat myself up on anything. It's just a mistake. Yeah. yeah. It's not a mistake. It's just a mistake mm -hmm. on understanding something, and I can change that. I yeah. have the power within myself to always change that. Yeah, definitely. I I I, I believe that I imagined myself into existence. So I thought myself here in the first place. If I thought myself here, yes. then I can think myself into anything that I, I want to think myself into. And so then with that mean that if that's true, then that means we can do that as a collective as well. Yes. We can think ourselves out of the situation that we're in. Beautiful, yes. Right? Definitely. Yes. And I really believe that. It's um it's just it, it, and it, 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 it does seem a lot harder than it actually is, and I think it's actually quite simple mm. to do. Um, I just think that um, people are not maybe... Um, it, it, like, okay, so once, you, once you're alone, and once you, once you get into that place and alone where there's no distractions, that's when you can start to start um, mm. identifying and doing those things to get to that point. Yes. Um, and uh, you know, that's the beginning, and so that's where we're from the beginning. That that that's how to start yes. doing it. I think it's important as well to um, not go the guru route and not start. You know, uh, okay, you know, f you know, I said the following thing. Well, that goes into back into need again. Yeah. And yeah. what I understand with I've really defined need mm -hmm. because that's part of the altered ego that just runs riot and trashes everybody because we need, need, need and drawing off of every so we're the vampires too. Yeah, yeah. Amongst each other. Yes. Um, mm. and the alternative community I've seen completely argue and break down yeah. in the last number of years, which is very upsetting yeah. to see when actually we should all be working together and we should all we've all got a common thing. We all want a better future. Mm. For this planet, yes, and for it's humanity. also been infiltrated, though you remember. Yes. So that, like this, this whole uh, you've got m multiple agent provocateurs in there, of course. Um, who 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 are sent and set there to very, very, very carefully and calculatedly placed into certain positions, and um, you've got to be very wary of anybody who um, is becoming who who is sort of mainstream and doing that. You know, because um, once you're mainstream and doing it, you're sort of under the under the octopus sort of control. Yes. You know, um, I I don't know then how uh, it's an interesting thought how you would um, be able to do it then um, because if as soon as something well I, I, it's, it depends who's backing you. You know, like I'm just talking about. I'm not naming names. I'm just talking. About, you know, yes. the, the big, the bigger names of people who are who are doing this. You know, uh, who are doing this thing. Um, it's where the money's coming from and who's backing that. You know, and whoever's backing it, um, it you got to look at that. Mm. And um, you, always follow the money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and if if it's do if it's if it's if it's creating that, uh, and then it's pr then you can be pretty sure. Um, that it's it's leading in the wrong direction, yes. and then just all it's doing is is, is creating um, the same thought pattern issues and prisons that we've got in all the other systems mm. that are going on. So then it just turns the, the this this alternative scene into um, religion, the yes. uh, fight in fighting in religion or in fighting in politics. It just becomes the same thing. Mm. Um, so so uh, how to avoid that? How to avoid that? Well, how to avoid that? We to not follow, to not, not to not, you know, to to, to be to be, to be in groups, but to understand your individuality as well, and to appreciate and and, and uh, respect that, mm. and and make sure to not hand your power over to somebody else, mm. and say, okay, so this person says it, then it is true. Mm. 
Yes, that's it's just like critical because if you do that, then, then you're just slipping back into the old ways and the old. That's the old paradigm. That's we're trying to create a new paradigm where that doesn't exist. Yes. I think we're doing a good job. I think we can do it. And I, I know we've done it. I know we're going to do it. Yes. So it's going to unfold and it's yes. going to work out. Right? Yes. Yeah, for sure. I think also with groups and, and people, um, I think everybody's trying to find somebody that thinks exactly the same as they sure. do. Yeah. And But we all think slightly differently. Slightly we're differently. never going yeah. to agree on absolutely everything. Right. And I think allowing another person's truth and that person allowing my truth and I allow your truth and, and so on if we yeah. all do that as well but we've got this common goal that we want we want a betterment for everybody if, that's living on this planet yeah it, a fairer system where everybody can grow and everybody can can feel supported because at the moment I see humanity is just it's just war, war torn and it doesn't know where to go. It doesn't know who who, who they are. They've completely forgotten. Mm -hmm. They don't even know their nature anymore. Well, yeah, it's a, definitely that you could call this planet the planet of amnesia. That's, yes. that's for sure. Like where everybody's walking around having no clue who they really are. Mm. Um, so um, you know, finding out, you know, find looking, looking, definitely looking. You know, they say in like that that was been pushed in the X Files of like like the truth is out there. Is that so? The truth is actually right here. Not out Truth there. is in here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not out there. You don't have to go searching outside. Yes. It. It's all already already layered in your cells and in your DNA mm -hmm. and in your core self and in your soul self. It's there already. Mm -hmm. So it, it's about going inside. Mm -hmm. So it's very a bit of trickery there. Yes. Um, but but you know by using that and then them them replaying or restarting up the X Files mm -hmm. again. Um, They've not been this, very good. First episode was like, yeah, and weak it was, really. It was, yeah. it, it was better yeah. than the others. <laughs> but they, yes, yeah. But what they, if okay, so if they're putting into, if they're layering into that show that nine eleven was, uh, you know, was an inside yes. job. They're actually then okay. So then you got to question what's the motives behind that? Do they want to? They want to let that, that information out truly? I think they perhaps they do. So, because they're, what they're trying to do is create, um, so their, their motto is Ordo Ab Chao, which means order out of chaos. So that in the final stages of their plan, they want to have as much chaos as, pos mm. as possible, much chaos as mm. possible, including a race war, which they've been trying to yes. put together for it's a long time. What I've noticed as well since 9-11, mm is the paranoia mm, that, yeah. and no one trusts anyone no. you, you smile in the street to a stranger yeah there, there is suspicion immediately yeah. in many people's minds and thinking are you about to mug me yeah i know you know what are you going to do yeah. it was just a, a friendly smile that yeah. you that was we well, used to do that all the time i know i know yeah definitely. you know and and people also you could be on the underground on the trains everybody's plugged into something there's no conversations there's no interaction yeah. and we as humans are sociable we're sociable yeah. creatures. Well, technology is also uh, about uh, you know isolating. They want to isolate as much as possible, mm. so that we don't connect with we. You don't connect with one another. Mm. Um, they definitely don't want you to connect with one another at all, um, um, because if you do, it, that's what I mean. That's why the languages were created in the first place. Yeah. Because if we all spoke, if we all got together and discussed why this go why this is going on, why that's going on, we'd sort of come to the truth a lot faster. Mm -hmm. So the languages were, were, were another another trick. Also, uh, you know, a language gives you a different perspective on how things look, literally look and seem and feel and how you, how you would respond to it. So uh, somebody who speaks, a, you know, a French or a German or w would have a you know, a different perception of the planet itself mm. because of the phonetics and because mm. of the sounds of words. Like uh, earlier on I said about phonetics, it's so important. Mm. Not just the spelling, mm. the sounds, um, mm. cr then also create. They've embedded within the, within the words um, little things, little tricks. To uh, which are we, we, like all the symbols that are so they speak right brain, you know, they, they, they communicate through right brain thinking, which is all uh, symbols and sigils. That's how they that's, all, that's how they speak to it's how they communicate to each other. Um, all those symbols, uh, we already know 
in our mind. We already know what they are. The, the, the one that they use a lot is a triangle with a circle around it. That symbol was created um, by, the Lu by the Lucis Trust. Um, I'm trying to think of her name now, who, who, who started it. I can't think of her name. I'll think of maybe I'll think of it. Alice okay, that, Bailey? Yes, Alice Bailey started the Lucis Trust, right. Well, that symbol with the... Uh, it's it's a uh, it's what's well, an upward triangle is male and a downward triangle is female. So so a triangle like that with the circle around it is means the male contained. So the male energy contained. And to, if you want to attack and take over a planet, um, you have to first of all take out the strong alpha males first, because then you that then it's easier to take over. So this was all about, you know, there's an agenda which is about trying to effeminize males as much mm -hmm. as possible so that the, 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 war, the, the, the warriors, the male warriors of the planet are weakened that way so they can't fight back as much. I've noticed that they use that symbol with the triangle with the circle around it uh, for, toilet, for restrooms. I see it all the time on for restrooms. I don't know why. That's peculiar, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Why are they yeah. putting it on, on, on there for that? It's also the symbol for Alcoholics Anonymous. They all wear the triangle with the circle around it. So what are they doing in... I'm not knocking uh, any of the anonymous mm. groups because I know they've done like wonderful things for people. I and mean, They definitely have. But why are they using that symbol, mm. which is the containment of the male? Mm. I don't know why. And also the subconscious understands oh, that symbol sub far better than what, what our All of us brain. understand the symbols there. You know, <coughs> just not, maybe not, uh, you know, yeah, right, not consciously, mm. but subconsciously we do. So um, they can speak to us through that way and they do every day, all, all day, uh, through, you know, through... I've noticed with co commercials too that... Um, when you have a block of commercials, they're not individual anymore. Mm. They're like they're all connected together. Mm. They're, they've 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 honed down the mind control techniques mm. so much that I can watch them and I can see how each one of the commercials is connected to each other and how each one of the commercials is also connected to the television show that yes. is on as well. Yes. Yes. So they they are they're sort of balancing it in, and it is a massive bombardment of. Um, uh, symbology that goes on through the TV now and very fast uh, changes, yes. camera shifts, yes. like this, which then invokes, um, you know, that, that after you, after watching television for something like 15 minutes, it puts the mind into like a beta state, yes. so which is like in, you go into a dream or a hypnotized yes. dream state, so then it can then speak directly to your subconscious. So you follow, you watch a television show, a particular television show, before you go to bed and you go to sleep. You have then asked, been astrally programmed to do something in astral by the television program. Yes. You know, I mean, they have, we haven't even covered. And that's the whole, quite a labyrinth, isn't it? Yeah. In yeah. the astral. Oh, totally. But I, you know, I believe that the that that the, the okay the astral realm, which is the four four D, um, is is pretty much taken over. Uh, they have pretty much control of all the 4D mm. as well. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so, so, but it's still, you know, it's still a... They have all their meetings and all the governmental meetings and all of the political stuff mm. is all held in, in, the, in the astral realm. Mm. They don't need to get on a plane and fly from one country to another to go and do it. Mm. They could, there's, there are certain hotels that you can go and stay in and you stay in a certain room and then you go to sleep in that room, and then that will bring you to a certain point in the in the astral realm. Wow. Yeah, so they got that that down. So because the hotels, like like the Hilton, well, they be on a certain point. Yeah, exactly, lives. exactly. All the Hilton, the, like all the Hilton hotels, are used for that. And if you look at the symbol for the that at the Hilton, it's an H, okay, which you mean which means a gate anyway. H H mm. is eight. And mm. a, a, it, it's a symbol for a gate or a star gate, and it had the, where, where it crosses the edge like this, it swirls around like a snake. So it's they, the Hilton hotels are used for uh, meetings, uh, elite, um, not good 
no. league meetings. Yeah, no. yeah. A lot of ritualistic stuff goes on underneath the Hilton hotels too. Yeah. Um, so uh, even the, the name Hill Tone, it has something to do with tone. Okay. So the tone frequ tone is a frequency. So it's um, that they're, they're built on specific frequency yeah. lines. So it tell they always tell you what they're doing. They're always mm. they're always you know, very clear. And Going back to the TV, yeah. because I remember in a recent interview, I believe you said you'd given up TV. You you know you didn't weren't watching TV. You I watched it. I went. I, I took a break from it for yes. a while. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I noticed. I noticed when I stopped watching it. I noticed. Um, well, I, I stopped. I stopped watching regular television, like television shows like mm -hmm. that. I still. I, I'm like. I like movies. I would mm -hmm. watch sure. movies still. But I didn't watch the regular TV that uh, where you know you watch a show and then there's commercials. And yes. then the, I, I stopped doing that. Well, I, I switched off the TV when analog, analog went. I refused mm, to go okay, digital, so okay. I think it's about eight years now, yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah. And so I've been without TV, but when I go to a shop or somewhere where they've got a TV mm. on the dentist's mm. room or something like that, I have been shocked on how fast uh, adverts and even movies and, and TV programs, it's all so aggressive now, um, because I've been without it. Yeah. It's um, just this noise, and it's it, it feels like it's just attacking my energy fields yeah. and and my my own thought patterns, yeah. and it's, it's a bombardment. Well, they've made they've they've slowly remember that to implement any of these things, they do it in a drip drip, so like slowly, yes. slowly, slowly, slowly do it. But they've ramped they've it slowly, up now. Well, they but the sneaky yeah, this what they did, especially with like with animation because animation is magic too mm. you know it's it's, it's but look it's, at the disney yeah. films well, the, yeah that's a whole another topic yeah. but um with shows sh like family guy mm. um um it, it, it's extremely vile i mean it's like i mean it, it's become oh south park yeah. it's become extremely vile and they say these are cartoon like cartoons made for uh, you know adults but they know full well if it's a cartoon that kids are going to be yes. drawn to it so you've got young children Watching, like some, and uh, you know, extremely, extremely vile things. And one thing I couldn't believe on uh, Family Guy, there's one of the characters is um, like a pedophile, and it's funny, and it's supposed to be funny. Yeah, it's like it's laughed at. How is the, that the, funny? The, 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 the guy, the, the, this is an old man who is predatorial to the children. And, uh, it's so it's normalising it. Yes. I mean, what I've yeah, noticed okay. so myself. That, yes. That's part of the new world. Yes. Part of their new world system is to totally normalise yes. that pedophilia, yes. and uh, they, they're slowly making children more adult. Yes. So that they're, they're dressing they've been up. Sexualising children totally. for quite quite some time. Yeah, but it's, it's been it's really pushed mm. now, and you know uh, when you have um, uh, you know also. Uh, celebrity couples mm -hmm. with their children saying they're not sure what gender they are. That five years old has yeah. a child Yeah, and how, well, a child who hasn't developed. Yes. So how, how, couldn't possibly yes. know. I mean, I've been watch, I have been keeping abreast with um, all that's been coming out in the last couple of years to do with paedophilia. Yeah. Around the world, it's not just isolated in yes. certain countries, it's just everywhere. Uh, yes. And I've been quite dismayed, actually, yeah. how many people, humans, mm. ordinary Joe Blogs, yeah. just, I don't know if it's they just don't know how to handle it, um, or they don't understand it, yeah. or they're believing the media, saying, oh no, that, that, was, that was just a nonsense and things. The amount of children that are going missing each year yeah. around the no, world. It's unbelievable. Uh, you know, where are the, where country. are the parents right. for all the, the you know, there should be yeah. outrage. Everybody knows about Magdalene. Uh, right. Uh, Madeline, Madeline. Yeah, yeah. But but where are all these all these other parents? Right. And th there should be questions. It's hundreds of thousands yes. of children go missing. I mean, yeah. humanity, for it to exist and continue on, yeah. should be looking after their young because our young are our future. Well, that, that, that yes, yeah, yeah, definitely. But the the attack the attack on the children is to attack the innocence of the human being. Mm. And attacking the innocence then attacks the heart. Yes. So this, that's another attack on the heart of the human mm. being. Um, yeah, it's really, really awful. And essentially what you know what they do to children is is what's being done to human beings 
the human race as a collective. Mm. We're being abused as a collective that way. Yes. Um, so it's just a microcosm of what is being done yes. on a grand scale. Um, one reflects the other, yes. it always does. I know, I've been absolutely heartbroken yeah. over this last couple of years with all that's been... I, I, knew it went, I knew it went on, even for myself it took me a while to be brave enough to really dig down into that rabbit hole. Yeah, it's, it's a difficult one to go to. I mean, and it's, it's coming out and since uh, Savile yes. you know, came out, you know, that's a big deal. But um, but that didn't go far enough. It's kind but of people sort of don't. Well. People sort of still don't accept it though. Yes. They don't want. They don't want to believe that their idols from when this was very calculated. This yes. was done very calculated. This was done to once again break the human heart. So they have. You have all these people that we grow up with watching on television who we think are wonderful and great, mm -hmm. and the, and then it was set up so that twenty years down the line we find out that they are actually predatorial, uh, mm. you know, dis you know, despicable human beings, that's a hit on the heart yes. again. And so so people don't want to accept that. Mm. And I even did a post, you know, the other day, um, connected to uh, uh, another celebrity that had died. You know, there was a string of celebrities that seemed to, like, died all of a sudden. And um, I, who I believe is connected to uh, th this ring, that go connected to the BBC, mm -hmm. um, and pe people were outraged and angry that I would dare to say that this you know public figure who mm. had been so seemingly wonderful mm. all the years would would even do anything like that. People don't want that. People don't want they. A lot of people would even rather die than than uh, than, than that be true. Mm. So but we're living in the era now of truth and transparency. That's where we're moving into, and so there is going to be. A pain and, a, and readjusting you, of understanding yeah, yeah, how yeah, yeah. reality has been working behind the scenes for a very. We're long going time. through the to, into the mode of where, um, or er, the unseen becomes seen, yes. and it's like the veil completely is, gets pulled away. Yes, so that that is going to be in and of itself traumatizing mm. to the collective mind. So it's um, and I I actually believe that you know. Some people are not even, even when it's right in front of their face, mm. still not going to uh, believe it. I and think for those that do it. listen and do start seeing reality as it is, rather yeah. than the fairy tale that yes. we've been led Story to believe, line, right? I, I, it's so important for us all to, to support each other when we're going through this because it is tough. Yeah, yeah, definitely, and like okay. You to you you to support you'd have first of all you have to accept it to be true before yes. you can support. Yes. Uh, so if you don't accept it to be true, then then uh, you, even so even all the stuff that that that's come out, you know, in the you know the years after the Savile thing, uh, there's more and more information. Like I mean, unbelievably disturbing things that he mm. did. You know, connected with dead bodies and connected with. Um, uh, the like the he would have keys to psych wards mm -hmm. and like people don't that sort of is too much for them to to get to mm -hmm. understand so they they won't do it and so the where where are we at so where where are we at with that how 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 much how much how much, how much, how much can people take and there there has to be a grieving process too. You know, because it's the de as like the the old paradigm dies, mm. you sort of we all have to grieve over the death of like the way that we thought things were, mm. and then then moving into like the new, yes. will will then it, it, it will be amazing. But you have to sort of like let go of the old first, otherwise you're not going to go sure. into the new. And I think that's that strength for us to move on into that new place yeah. goes right back to what we began with and that was about loving ourselves yeah. into life yeah yeah and uh, you know going within and and really defining within ourselves what do i know what do i feel is right yeah. you know what 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 does my soul tell me yeah yes it's not just what what someone's saying on the tv right no no that's yeah. the that's the um the the, the guru thing um, is there anything else that, because we're, we're just about to wrap up yeah, now, is there um, anything you'd like to leave us with? Um, um, you know. I want to leave you with the fact that um, it is 
it is going to be all right, and then we are we we have we are going to come through this, and the the transition into the new is going to be intense, and it is gonna it's it, it is going to get a, a little bit worse before it gets better, but it has to. It's sort of a it's sort of a wound that that has to be addressed, looked at, and and then healed, and like so. There's the healing process you know process that goes along with that, but um. It's like an amazing journey. This is the most amazing time to be alive ever in history. Yeah. This has never happened before like this. Nothing has never—it's never happened quite yes. like this before. Yeah. So there's a lot of souls that have come down here just to experience this awakening point mm. of where human beings realize, hang on a second, none of what we've been told is true at all. We've been lied to all along yeah. by this particular consciousness that's doing this. And another time we can address that particular yes. consciousness and why and what it is. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, so it's onwards and upwards into the future and creating a beautiful future for everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But exactly. It's in, it's in the hands of the people. We're the creators. They are the creators. They can't create. We can take responsibility and create for ourselves. Thank you so much, Max. Oh, you're very welcome. Your pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Really, really, really awesome.